This is a dead beehive. This was our mean bees who did not survive over the winter. I feel a little bad. You can see them clustering here where they sort of tried to huddle together for warmth near the end of it. Um, they were the bees who stung us a lot, and as a result I have kind of mixed feelings about it. I'm sad at the death of any living creature, but bees are the guys who basically tried to kill us every time we came by. So what we're doing is we're cleaning out the hive right now. As you can see, there's a lot of good comb down there. We're going to be able to fill that out for our next set of bees, who will be arriving in about two days. But as it stands, this hive is probably full of thousands of dead insects, and it's a sad thing. It's kind of like coming upon a tomb in a weird way. But a tomb full of people who were, when we were alive, actively hateful of us. So, coma si, coma sa. Hopefully this home will be save a lot of time for the other bees who won't have to like put all the wax in there because you can see that there's pre-built wax. They built a lot of wax. They built a lot of wax and so hopefully once we feed our new bees we will have a lot of time and uh, get some honey out of these guys and hopefully our new bees will not be quite nearly as uh, mean. We are pur purchasing a uh, queen who uh, from a breed that is known for its gentleness. The, qu the kind of queen we have in our other hive in fact. Yeah. Yeah, and in fact, if you look at our other hive right here, it's doing, I wouldn't say fine. Um, but however, it has gone through about three of these this year, um, which is a good sign. But I suspect way more of them died in the, uh, in the cold winter, because the winter lasted pretty much until last week. And even today, it's only about 40 degrees, 50 degrees up. So hopefully at some point we will see a return to form. But the queen is clearly in there. The queen is clearly laying and they are clearly eating, which is good. Although, interestingly enough, if you look right here at the stains, you can see all those. That is bee poop, and that is a sign that uh, basically they were um, in there because bees stay in the hive all year and they don't poop uh, until uh, spring comes. Interestingly, which these guys left behind honey. They left behind honey? Yeah. Oh, well, I guess they just froze to death. Well, they had enough to get through the winter. We'll have I mean, to look we at it. Let me didn't... see. Know. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's it's capped. I mean, I don't know if we want to try to take that or leave it for the bees. Yeah. That's odd. I'm debating. <laughs> and, well, you know, it would be the first honey we got out of any of them, so, yeah. and it would be natural, so maybe we do that. So if, we're, if you're done uh, filming for the moment... You... Hang on. Okay. Just going to finish up. Anyway, so what we're, terror what we're concerned about here is all this bee poop possibly means that they have, what is it, nozema? Yeah. Or whatever, you know, basically the... Uh, Basically, the disease that uh, means that they've um, got diarrhea and some of them are dying. In any case, this is not what I would term a healthy hive. We have not been in this year, um, but, you know, I suspect the winter took a real big toll on them. But thankfully, the bees we like are alive, which is good.